guys, so today I'm going to be showing how I color my hair. Turn my gloves on. And I like to use the Colestin color. Um, it's by Wella. Probably many of your stylists use that. Take it out of the pack, and with this, you mix one to one. So, like one ounce of this, I mix one ounce of the developer. So, this is the color, and I'm just gonna start with my roots. So, I'm gonna use about half a tube of the color, and I'm just gonna guesstimate. Two ounces of this. And then I'm going to mix it up really good. Okay, and for those of you that are trying to save money and color your hair at home, I'm sure you can't get your hands on the professional color. But I'm going to show you some ways that, you know, makes it easier to apply color to your hair than just slopping it on there. And you can go to your local Sally's and, you know, pick up your brushes like these. So, I'm just going to start off. I do my roots first and I let my color sit on my roots for about, probably about 25 minutes. And then I'll slap the rest of the rest of my hair and um, I'll let that sit for about 10 minutes because my hair is already pre-colored and we don't want to damage our hair even though it's not lighter it still damages our hair a little bit so I wet a piece of toilet paper just in case we get the color anywhere we can wipe it off easy and then we're going to Start applying. Just applying it to that new growth. Sometimes this can be a little tedious, but beauty is pain, right, ladies? And then you just section it off in little sections like that. And you try to keep it off the scalp, but if you get it on the scalp, that's okay because you can do what you call a shampoo cap. And what it is is once you let your color sit um, for your desired time, then you'll go in and you'll slightly wet your hair and then you can um, put shampoo in it and scrub your scalp and it will get all of the color off of your scalp. section and sections like this and then applying like this and I'm going to continue to do that through the rest of my hair and all of my new growth of course it's hard to get the back so you just do the best you can and I'm going to so small sections like that so I'm going to finish up and then I will come back in just a little bit Okay, so I'm back. So as you can tell, I've got the top 
half done. So now what I wanted to show you is I know when you do your color at home, it's hard to get in the back, which we don't have to be as precise, of course, but I was just going to show you if you'll just part your hair in half after you do that first half and just kind of work it on there like so and like I said it really doesn't matter if it gets on your skin because um, that shampoo cap really really just seems to take it off for you so what we'll do is as you Take it in little sections like this and hold it up and dip your brush in your color and then apply like so and just keep applying. Like so. Once you apply it, you can take that and I'll put that into your already done here. And then we'll move on. This side. And then take a small piece like so. Put this baby somewhere. And we'll get our brush and our color. And we'll just apply it on like so. And like I said, we'll just go root touch up so it ain't gotta be so fancy with it. We're doing it on ourselves. And then we'll just expand the pieces like so. Pull it like that. And like so. And then again, just grab it in the clip. And continue doing that until you get to the bottom. And of course, the bottom's pretty self explanatory. And you do all the same. So I'm gonna finish up my roots. And I will get back with you guys. Okay, I wanted to show you guys as I finish up. It gets harder as the further you get down the nape of your neck. So just try to section it and do the best that you can. Um, by the way, this color is 3366 Dark Brown Intensive Violet Intensive. So it gives you that dark sultry look but when you get out in natural light and sunlight it has violet tones it's it's a very beautiful color especially for the fall um i wear it all the time i'm a creature of habit so but definitely a beautiful color for olive complexions blue eyes green eyes it really makes your eyes pop especially when you've got good makeup going on that day but sometimes i'll go back and forth i'm all over the head i'm just showing you how to you section it like this and remember when you color make sure you always wear like an old shirt I'm wearing an old, an old cape of mine that I always wear when I color my hair. And be very careful because wherever you color your hair, I'm sure those of you that already do color it at home, have some of you have found out the hard way that color tends to not come out, especially of rugs and whatnot. So you have to be very, very, very careful. Alright, and continuing up, I'm just lathering it on here, doing the best that I can without being able to see. Like I said, really nobody's going to see underneath there. Or not enough to know any difference if you miss a one inch spot. Okay, so this is what we should look like as our roots are getting done. So we're going to let this sit, like I said. I think I've said this about 400 times now, but anyways, we're going to let it sit for about 25 or 30 minutes. Um, make sure all your pieces are kind of locked in there tightly, because if not, you're going to get it on your furniture wherever you sit. So, okay, so I'm going to let this sit, and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Okay, so now it's been about 25 minutes, and um, I didn't tell you earlier, but what I meant to tell you is when you mix your color, make sure that it has a thick consistency like this you don't want it to be too runny because that means you've mixed too much developer so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take these clips out and we're just going to take the rest of that product 
and if you want to, I mean, it really doesn't matter. You can just slap it on there. Um, if I was doing someone else's hair, I would take it. And if you have the time, you can take it and you can paint it on there. It can kind of get messy doing that yourself. So what I like to do is just take my hair out and try to paint it on like so. Um, and uh, then when, once I get it painted on each individual and these you can take thicker strands especially if this is already um a color an already existing color that's on your hair like my hair it really doesn't need to sit on the ends too long and then just take it and run the product through it and by the way what i mentioned and forgive me for the way i look i just got back from the gym so i'm looking a little rough right now but that's okay that's okay we all have those days right so I'm just going to continue working it through each strand, and I'll clip it up as I'm done so I'll know what I've done thus far, and just paint it on like so. I'm sorry if you couldn't see in the beginning of the video, I was facing more towards the mirror. I kind of should have positioned the camera in a different way. So if you guys would like for me to recreate this video next time I color my hair um, with the camera facing me from the beginning, leave me a comment below and I will do so. I do color my hair about every, probably every six to seven weeks. Um, so I can definitely do that for you guys. And... If there's any other hair videos that you would like to see, um, leave me a comment below. I also, um, for the most part, cut my own hair, my bangs, all of that. Every now and then, I'll get my girlfriend that works with me to cut it for me if we're not busy. But for the most part, I do it all myself. It's just easier that way. So, just keep dabbing it on, like so. And the ends of your hair always get um, the most torture, I guess we could say for lack of better words. So you don't have to go all the way to the end. Some people like to, some people don't. It's just your preference. And you can also brush your hair. My hair is a mess right now. I had it all sorts of ways at the gym. I was getting it tonight. Also, if you'd like to see maybe some um, of my workout routines, I, ha I have a really um, high intensity workout that I do about two to three times a week. And um, you can get it to where it can be finished in about 20 minutes and it burns a thousand calories plus. So if you guys would like to see a video, that, leave me a comment for that below too, because I love fitness. Um, I'm a I guess what you would call a gem wrap. So again, just paint it on like we did before. We're just painting it on down the hair. And then just kind of run it through. And if you, you know, you can always go back and, and touch up. So I'm going to continue on through this process and then I'm going to come back when I'm through because if not, this video will be two hours long and we do not want that. So I'm going to finish up this and I will be back. Okay, so now that we've got that mostly painted all the way through, I have plenty of product left over, so this is not what I would do on a client. This is all for in-home use. Like I said, this is just to help you, those of you that like to color your hair at home to save money because I know it can get expensive going to the salon. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that color and I'm going to scoop it out like so. And I'm just going to put it on my gloves and I'm going to rub run it through my hair and work it in almost like you would shampoo um especially this makes it easier for us girls who have longer hair and do this at home um obviously shorter hair is going to be a little bit easier but for us longer haired ladies this helps a lot okay guys this is the finished wet look and after I've given it all the love I need to give it, I am about to go to bed, but I will blow dry it and style it. And I will, as always, guys, thank you for watching. I love you so very much. And please hit that like button if you'd like to see more videos like this. Also, if there's any videos that you'd like for me to film, please leave me a comment in the down bar below. And also, lighting is on its way. So hopefully tutorials and more um, makeup, hair, hauls are coming your way. As always, have a blessed day and I love you. Post a picture tomorrow of it completed. And 